John Rockefeller was an American entrepreneur, and he has been widely considered the wealthiest American of all time and the richest person in modern history. Following are some of his most fundamental quotes for wealth and life achievement. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Save when you can, and not when you have to. Success comes from keeping the ears open and the mouth closed. I believe the power to make money is a gift of God. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. I have no ambition to make a fortune. Mere money making has never been my goal. I had an ambition to build. I do not think there is any other quality so essential to success of any kind as the quality of perseverance. It overcomes almost everything, even nature. Nobody does anything if he can get anybody else to do it. The success of each is dependent upon the success of the other. The secret to success is to do the common things uncommonly well. I would rather earn 1% off of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. I always tried to turn every disaster into an opportunity. The road to happiness lies in two simple principles. Find what it is that interests you and that you can do well. And when you find it, put your whole soul into every bit of energy and ambition and natural ability you have. Own nothing. Control everything. The impression was gaining ground with me that it was a good thing to let the money be my slave and not make myself a slave to money. Go as far as you can. When you get there, you'll be able to see farther. I believe in the dignity of labor, whether with head or hand that the world owes no man a living, but that it owes every man an opportunity to make a living. How much money does it take to make a man happy? Just one more dollar. The only thing which is of lasting benefit to a man is that which he does for himself. Money which comes to him without effort on his part is seldom a benefit and often a curse. Get rich by taking something common and making it uncommon. Good leadership consists of showing average people how to do work of superior people. A friendship built on business can be glorious, while a business built on friendship can be murder. Oh, how blessed young men are who have to struggle for a foundation and beginning in life. If you want to succeed, you should strike out on new paths 
rather than travel the worn paths of accepted success. I believe in the sacredness of a promise, that a man's word should be as good as his bond, that character, not wealth or power or position, is of supreme worth. It has always been my rule in business to make everything count. The man will be most successful who confers the greatest service on the world. He who works all day has no time to make money. I can think of nothing less pleasurable than a life devoted to pleasure. The way to make money is to buy when blood is running in the streets. I would rather hire a man with enthusiasm than a man who knows everything. The common denominator for success is work. I believe that every right implies a responsibility, every opportunity an obligation, every possession a duty. The only question with wealth is, what do you do with it? When work goes out of style, we may expect to see civilization totter and fall. Do not many of us who fail to achieve big things fail because we lack concentration, the art of concentrating the mind on the thing to be done at the proper time and to the exclusion of everything else? I believe that it is my duty to make money and use it for the benefit of my neighbors. This is what my conscience tells me. Rockefeller retired at age 56 and spent his time with charitable endeavors before his death on May 23, 1937. Here are some of his words mentioned in the last part of his life. Charity is injurious unless it helps the recipient to become independent of it. A man's wealth must be determined by the relation of his desires and expenditures to his income. If he feels rich on $10 and has everything else he desires, he really is rich. I believe it is a religious duty to get all the money you can fairly and honestly, to keep all you can and to give away all you can. The poorest man I know is the man who has nothing but money. I believe that truth and justice are fundamental to an enduring social order. Long ago, I lost the joy in living. The only joy I have is in my giving. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please support our work by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Check our channel for more videos like this one.